All right, so far nothing really interesting has happened. So, except maybe the minus one thing. Um, let's do something that's gonna break Haskell. Is five equal to hello? And so probably the answer is gonna be no, but it's more interesting than that. So what we're seeing here is Haskell's type system. So it's trying to, to compare the number five to the string hello, and hello is actually going to be um, an array of characters and uh, we, we have no way of comparing the five to the, for, to the string of characters, so we're going to get an error. Um, we'd also get an error if we said is five equal to true. There's, we have no way of comparing that either. Um, so this, so we'll, uh, this is something we're gonna actually get into in a lot of depth is the way Haskell deals with types. But let's see what happens with floating point numbers. Can I add four to the floating point five? And we can, and what happened there is that the, the four got converted to a floating point number and Haskell added them.